Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Nagaland Minister Kashyo Sangtam has asserted that Paradia Janata Party, BJP, office bearers and legislators in the state are intact and working closely for the welfare of the party. Addressing the 59th BJP Mandal Executive Meeting at Singaki River in Gifre yesterday, Kashio said BJP is purely a political party and has nothing to do with religious agendas. Minister Kashio appealed the people to post faith in the government. He asserted that the government under the leadership of Chief Minister Rio and Deputy Chief Minister Y. Button is working closely to bring more development and progress in the state. The minister assured his constituency people that he will work with conviction to bring development in the region. Kashio urged the party Garia Gattas to work sincerely for the party. Nagaland Pradesh Congress Committee NPCC President K. Terry launched the Indian National Congress Digital Membership Drive at Congress Pawan Kohima yesterday. During the program, General Secretary NPCC in charge organization Captain G. K. Zumomi explained the technical aspects of the Congress Party membership app and the process for enrollment. NPCC in a press release said the party has appointed 60 chief enrollers in all the 60 assembly constituencies and they will be responsible for appointing enrollers in every polling booth. NPCC said enrollment of those willing to apply for INC membership will continue till 31st March 2022. Rising People's Party, RPP, said the party will undertake the task of walking around Nagaland under the theme, A Walk to Save Nagaland. RPP, in a release, said this event will also kickstart their campaign for the next General Assembly elections. It said a walk will commence on 21st of this month from Dimapu and culminate after covering a distance of 1,200 plus kilometers. RPP said the party is particularly traversing the Foothill Road to highlight the apathetic attitude of the state government despite pleas from all quarters. RPP said the walk is a philosophy and an excellent medium to share the party's ideology and vision with our people. RPP said the work will also highlight issues which has kept the state backward for too long. Nagaland reported 12 fresh COVID-19 positive cases in the past 24 hours, increasing the state's total COVID tally to 35,340. Eight of the fresh cases were reported from Dimapu, two from Kohima and one each from Maguchung and Woka. Meanwhile, total recovery from the infection has gone up to 32,795, with 43 recoveries reported yesterday. Total active COVID-19 cases in the state is 316. Geja Selio Penner from Kohima Village has emerged as the champion in the Naga style wrestling at the 50th sports meet of Angami Sports Association. He defeated 24-year-old Geja Vizo Tepo from Chetema Village in the final held yesterday. Masi Losi Naki from Jotsuma Village secured the third position and Visa Keto Suho of Kohima Village fourth. The champion received 2 lakh rupees, while the second position holder received 1 lakh 20,000 rupees. The third and fourth position holders received 80,000 rupees and 50,000 rupees respectively. The best tactic wrestler was awarded to Masilosi Naki, who received 10,000 rupees. And with a new Omicron variant of coronavirus causing concern, we appeal our listeners to be vigilant and get fully vaccinated and help others, including children between 15 and 18 years, to get vaccinated. Please continue to follow these three simple steps to stay safe. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information or guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800345-0019. With this, we end the morning news. Have a nice day.